Hey friends, it's story time with Mama D again. Our Old Testament lesson for the fourth Sunday in Lent comes from the book of Numbers. We don't get a lot of lessons from the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers really is kind of what it sounds like. It's a lot of numbers. It tells us how many people started that journey into, each, into the Exodus from Egypt and how many came out on the other side and some of the things that happened to them while they were in that journey. And that's one of our stories. That's our Old Testament lesson for the fourth week in Lent. One of the stories from the wilderness and God's people on the move from Egypt to the Promised Land. Let's listen and see what happens. God's people were complaining. God rescued them from Egypt, but now they were stuck in the wilderness. They had to walk and walk and walk all day long. The people rubbed their tired, sore feet. They yelled at God and they yelled at their leader, Moses. We're tired, they said. There's no water. Then a bunch of snakes appeared among God's people. The more the people complained, the more the snakes bit them. The men and the women and the children, and the people cried out for help. Ow, that snake bit me. God, please take these horrible, horrible snakes away. See the snakes? Help us, God. We were wrong not to trust you. God was with the people in the wilderness. God heard them asking for help. God spoke to Moses, and Moses listened to God's instructions. And here's what God said. Make a snake out of bronze metal, raise it up high on a staff. If someone is bitten, tell them to look at the snake made of bronze metal and they will live. God's people kept walking for days and weeks and months through the wilderness. Sometimes there were snakes. Many times their feet were tired and sore. But now they could look up at the bronze metal snake and live. They trusted God to save them and knew that God was always with them. See, there's Moses. And Moses is holding his staff with the bronze metal snake on it. A reminder to the people to trust God.